Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video. The series where I cover the latest streetwear releases, I cover the latest streetwear news, and of course, well, we just discuss anything to do with streetwear or fashion in the series. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be covering an upcoming collaborative release. Uh, I'm going to be covering all the release details, uh, all the individual pieces, and my thoughts and opinions on the Palace Mercedes AMG Week 8 Collaborative Capsule that is releasing as a part of Palace's Spring 2022 collection. Yeah, guys, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> I was speculating that the Spring 2022 season for Palace was, you know, it was slowing down. Now, Palace is like, all right, Mercedes AMG, we're calling you up. We're doing a round two. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. And for this capsule, to celebrate that they're doing a second one, they did four custom cars to celebrate this capsule. They're not available in a toy version. I don't think you can buy these. They're literally one of ones. They just did them because they were like, why not? Wild. Now, each of these cars will be, uh, I think, showcased at the physical locations in these four different reason, uh, regions. I'll put up the cars and the details on the screen now for you guys to read. But yeah, there are four different cars, uh, each of them being showcased in the respective region there. And they're all customized to have graphics on them that embody the region that they're being showcased in. So the Tokyo one is inspired by uh, Japan's culture and the London one with uh, the UK's culture, etc, etc. That's a pretty big flex just to celebrate that they're doing a second capsule. Just like, you know, custom LEDs, custom paint job, everything. Custom interior as well. It is wild. Uh, on top of that, of course, we're getting some clothing as well. <laughs> uh, you know, it wouldn't be a proper collab if they were just doing cars. They got to do some clothing as well. Yeah, wild stuff, guys. And in today's video, we'll be covering that. I won't really be talking about the cars because I don't know anything about cars. So we'll just be talking about the clothing today. Uh, we'll cover the release details, uh, all the official images of the clothing, and my thoughts and opinions on it. Now, uh, the article that we're going to be using, the Palace article, uh, it has a video showcasing the cars. So if you are a car enthusiast, you can check out the article that we're going to be using today. It'll be linked in the description section below and you can go in depth about the cars there. But uh, yeah, let's get into it, guys. Uh, let's head on over to the article and we'll start covering the release details uh, for this week eight collab. Here we are at the article that we'll be using, guys. Uh, the release details for this week eight collab is that it'll be la launching Friday, the March 20th, uh, UK in-store and online, 11 a.m. GMT. EU, it'll be releasing online at 12 p.m. CET. US, online, 11 a.m. EDT and 8 a.m. PDT. Uh, New York in-store, 11 a.m. EDT. LA, uh, 11 a.m. PDT. It'll be launching on the Saturday. This is for Japan and China. 11 a.m. Uh, 11 a.m. in-store and online uh, for Japan and WeChat for the Chinese uh, market there as well. The usual release places, times, everything like that. But if you have any further questions uh, or are confused at all, uh, just drop a comment in the comment section down below and I'll try and help you out with uh, the drop details there. But now that we've covered all the release details, we'll skip past the cars that are being showcased and the video and we'll head on now to the clothing. So this is all the clothing that we'll be releasing in this collab. We will obviously dive into this clothing again when I cover the drop list uh, for week eight as there will be seasonal pieces on top of this collab releasing in the week. So stay tuned for that drop list video. But uh, let's get into it, guys. Let's check out this Mercedes AMG Alice uh, second collaboration that is releasing for week eight. <laughs> and I'm basically just like super zoomed in here to like 400% zoom in on this uh, web page here. So this is the best angles that we've got for it. So we can see that the big jacket that is releasing in this collab is a work jacket. Kind of looks like um, just a little bit of a cross between a chore jacket and a work jacket there. Some co-branding on the front and I think, yes, some co-branding on the back. 
I don't think it's anywhere near as, uh, you know, spectacular as the leather jacket that released in the first collab. And that was one of my favorite pieces. That leather jacket was crazy. Also crazy priced. I'm sure that this jacket is going to be a lot more cheaper this time around. But I know, I know a lot of you guys out there are big fans of uh, workwear. So this type of jacket will really speak to you. For me, it's all right. Nothing too crazy here. But there you go. There's a showcasing of it. We also get a vest. Very similar, just the arms are chopped off. That's literally the difference. And I'm assuming it's probably gonna have the same branding on the back there. Moving into some double knees as well. We're going for a very workwear looking look for this collab by the looks of it. Uh, just because it's got double knees, it's got that, you know, jacket, the vest, the whole deal. These just look like normal Palace double knees to me. Maybe there's some branding on the back or something. It comes in black as well. So does the vest. Okay, so I'm looking to, like, like, where's the Mercedes branding? Is it on the butt pocket or something? Not a very good showcase on Palace's official web store here, but, uh, yeah, there is some double knees. I don't see the, uh, AMG branding on them, but maybe it's on the butt pocket there. Anyway, moving further, uh, we get a, uh, black vest. We get a zip-up hoodie. Unfortunate, I love, uh... Well, I more prefer a pullover hoodie. I say that as I'm wearing a zip-up kimono hoodie from Undercover at the current moment, but <laughs> if I had to choose, unless there's some like interesting aspect of the hoodie that uh, you know means that it has to have a zip, could it look better as a pullover hoodie? 90% of the time, it's a yes, it would look better as a pullover hoodie, but that's just me. We've got co-branding on the left breast there. Uh, and on the back, we have a co-branding logo there as well. As we can see, it releases in an orange or a black. I don't like the orange though, with this like softer um, orange or I, I don't even know what color to call it. Uh, coral maybe uh, on the back there. It looks nice. It looks nice. Moving in some long sleeves. We've got some co-branded long sleeves. They come in a white. They come in a mustard. They come in a black. They come in an orange as well, so that's four colors. I'm assuming there's co-branding on the back, but they're not showcasing it here. We've got co-branded tees with like a leopard print done on the bottom half there. Palace AMG there. I don't know, the, the, the leopard stripe pattern here, it looks kind of tacky to me. I, I, I wouldn't go for it. Got the co-branding on the back, that's okay. Palace AMG London. We've got, oh, okay, so these are regional ones. They're different. Uh, I'm assuming that the in-store locations will just have the region regional exclusives to them. And then the online store will have all of them, but I could be wrong. Uh, interesting there. Or maybe the in-store locations will have all the different uh, regions. But there you go. We've got the New York one here. We've got the Tokyo one here with like a nice sky, uh, a, night, a nice night sky pattern on the bottom here. And then, honestly, I think the LA one's the best. Like the most versatile as well. Uh, moving on, we've got some caps, co-branded caps with a nice little trim around one of the panels here. Uh, it looks like they are trucker caps as we've got a mesh backing to it there. Yeah, the, the cap's quite nice, quite nice. Uh, moving on, ooh, black one's nice. That's a solid cap, yeah, that's good. Moving on, we've got a co-branded beanie. Yeah, that's not too bad. Um, just some co-branding there. And it comes in a white. Comes in an orange, comes in a black, very much like uh, the uh, long sleeves. So you can get them with the matching long sleeves. And that's it guys, that is the whole collab. Okay, well, that is the Palace AMG collab. Well, controversial thoughts. I feel like they chucked the cars in there to hype it up, but really the second collab isn't better than the first one. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. Well, let's see how the comment section reacts to that one. <laughs> if it reacts at all but yeah i don't know i'm the pieces in the first one were hitting the, that leather jacket from that first collab i mean whew, that one was hitting this one and eh, some okay co-branded pieces but nothing that's blowing me away here it went for a more workwear look it looks like someone who would um you know work on the maintenance teams on um uh, you know on the various racetracks, you know, something that they would wear, you know, double knees, some work jackets, maybe someone, uh, something that someone would wear in, um, you know, a mechanic store. But yeah, it's 
Yeah, I, it just doesn't hit as much as the first one. I, Again, look, maybe I'm sounding really conspiracy theorist here, but maybe they did just do the cars just to, like, hype it up. But really, not as good as the first collab. I don't know. Those are just my thoughts. Uh, maybe you feel differently. Maybe because you're, like, a workwear kind of person, you love your double knees, you love your work jackets, maybe this is hitting for you. But, um, yeah, as someone who's not into cars but into Palace... This one didn't do as good as the first one. But uh, yeah, I'd love to hear how you feel about it, guys. Are you, you know, what, what's your favorite piece that's releasing in it? What's your favorite region tea? I'm still going to go with Los Angeles. I think uh, LA, I think that's the better tea. But uh, yeah, let me know all your thoughts and opinions on this Palace AMG collab uh, down in that comment section below. Well, that's everything to really say about this Palace AMG 2.0 collab. I had to be real, I, I I still think the first one's better, but uh, hey look, maybe the, th the third one will be better. Maybe they'll do a third one and blow us away with that one. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, well we covered everything to do with it. Release details, it's dropping this Friday, the 25th, Saturday, if you live in Japan and China. Uh, we covered all the individual pieces in it, we covered my thoughts and opinions on it. Now I want to hear from you guys. If you are picking up anything from this collab, what are you picking up? I feel like a lot of you are going to go for the jackets, the double knees, uh, maybe a long sleeve. Hard to gauge. I, I seriously want to know. If you are picking up something from this collab, from this week 8 collab, let me know. What color, what size, what piece. Let me know down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Palace releases, upcoming Palace collabs, you got to give me the three indicators I'm always asking for, which is a like, on this video comment in that comment section down below and if subscribe to the channel uh we are trying to hit a new subscriber uh, milestone this month of 3 to 90. hopefully with your guys continuous support we can reach that milestone for the end of march that's all i really got to say about the palace amg 2.0 collab though guys uh, i'll obviously cover it again when i do the drop list video for week eight but yeah it I wasn't hitting anywhere near as much as the first collab but i've said that like ten thousand times by now um there are still some cool pieces here but uh yeah we'll have to see how they do maybe in the third collab if they do one We'll have to see. Can we get like Palace, Ralph Lauren, or you know some some of the other Palace brands that they collaborated with in the past to do like a 2.0 and 3.0? Now that we're doing a Mercedes AMG 2.0, can we get those ones doing 2.0s as well, <laughs> or 3.0s with some of them? Yeah, that would be nice. Anyway, yeah, let me know what you're copping. I hope you managed to cop everything that you're after. If you are going for something this week, but uh, until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next Droplist video. Until the next Palace Skateboards video, guys, I'll catch you later.